Hi, I'm Giancarlo. And I'm Felicia. This is our review of... Agent Hunter. Oh, God. I we were going to say cooler. Double. Agent Hunter. You do like the pose of the guy with the beard. With the beard. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying you have a beard, but I'm talking about the pose. Do the pose like the guy with the, with beard. the beard. Right. On the box. Okay, so... Lara Croft style. You don't have a beard, forget it. <laughs> I like you. Maybe I have a beard elsewhere. <laughs> in Agent Hunter, players are trying to capture three enemy safe houses. In the box, you'll get two deck of cards, the blue and the red. You'll also get five red tokens and five blue tokens, and each card will be numbered from zero to nine. The game ends when all three bases of a player have been captured. Here's how to set up. Give each player a deck and corresponding tokens. Now, each player will choose three cards to place face down into their safe houses. The rest of their cards is their hand. You're now ready to play. On your turn, you must attack one of the opponent's safe house using one of two actions, or switch an agent from your safe house with one from your hand. You can attack a safe house from your hand. To do so, you simply show a card from your hand and choose a safe house. The safe house controller will look at the card secretly and tell the player if the number is higher or lower. The card you revealed goes back to the hand, but now you have more info on that safe house. If your card is the same as the safe house card, then you want that safe house and both cards are placed face up. Another type of attack you can do is from house to house. Same concept, but this time if you miss and do not have the same number, your safe house is automatically won over by the opponent. So make sure you know what you're doing before you declare war between safe house. If you do not wish to attack a safe house, you can trade one of your agents from your safe house with one from your hand. You first pick up the agent and place him in your hand. Then play an agent from your hand back into the safe house. Yes, the agent can be the same one you picked up. When you do this though, you must place a token under that safe house. You only have 5 tokens, so you can only switch 5 times in one game. See where this game is going? It's a bluffing luck and memory style game. So as you play agents on each other and swap agents around, eventually all 3 safe houses of a player will be captured. When this happens, scoring begins. Each player gets victory points from each base they captured. Each base is worth 1 point plus 1 point for each token on that base. So, this base is worth 3 points. The player with the most points wins the game. It's a neat portable 2 player game which does not take up room but has lots of strategy and memory elements to it. It's fun to bluff your way to victory and when you win you feel like you've outsmarted the other player. Yes, sometimes you will actually score a lucky hit on a base but mostly it's good bluffing and cunning memory that will give you the winning edge. The artwork is really cool and gives it that spy feel but the production quality is lacking. They should have used better card stock for each card because once a card is slightly damaged, it ruins the entire game unless you buy sleeves. So in a game like this, they should have made sure that the cards were playable and durable. Still a good two player game worth looking into. We're giving Agent Hunter 7 Spies out of 10.